What's going on you guys, this is MXKDI with another Dell Precision T3500 Gonna be a gaming upgrade So move the side cover panel And I'm gonna go ahead first um, disconnect the Satan power cable from the hard drive And there's a uh, little tabs where you lift them up like this And uh, I'm going to be using guys a caddy, it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch and I'm going to be using the Solar State Drive Samsung, this is the A50 Pro 256 and what I have to do is take the caddy like this, plastic and I have to install the screws here in the back And this one is a plastic generic, It's uh, there's no uh, model number on it But I can install two Soul State Drive or I can install one Soul State Drive and one laptop 2.5 inch hard drive in here So like you can have uh, two terabytes for storage and the main boot drive could be Soul State Drive, you can have So here's a 2.5 inch laptop hard drive and you can install on top like this You have for uh, storage That's what you can do So I'm going to go ahead and now connect it back So first I'm going to do is just uh, install it back Nope, not like this it will go like Now you press them down the tabs to lock it Now guys what I have to do is uh, You see this panel right here the plate here We have to remove it to install GTX 1070 for gaming I'm going to lift this up and guys what I'll do is I'm going to move this to the side here I'm going to move the VD card And at the same time guys I want to be upgrading the memory It's using the ECC memory DDR3 So the memory dim slot 1 is the wire one here Dim slot 2 is the wire one and dim, dim slot 3 is uh, the third one right here with the wire one Now guys, I'm going to be installing the VD card This one is uh, EVGA Superclock GeForce GTX 1070 It's got 8 gigs of RAM So I'm going to go ahead and remove the 
Remove it from the box. So here's the video card, this is a super clocked. Now what I will do is install it. And guys, we're gonna be installing through the PCI Express times 16 slot right here, the blue one. And make sure you remove another PCI bracket so you have two slots available. So the video card is installed. Now guys, what I'll do is, what you have to do is uh, you have to buy the cable because this, uh, this power supply is uh, 525 watt, you don't have to upgrade and this has got the 6 pin power but this video card requires 8 pin power so you have to buy this cable split it online from 6 pin to 8 pin like this and you're going to connect it Now, I'm installing the back, the memory shroud. If you guys notice that I did install the chipset, the Northbridge uh, 60 millimeter fan, and I did install two 80 millimeter fans for cooling. I did an uh, Optiplex show you how to do that. The other model, the Optiplex, show you how to install the fan, but I did it. I got two 80 millimeter fans in here and one 60 millimeter fan for the chipset, Northbridge. Runs a lot cooler. And just to go to the main wire, and it's connected right here. Four pin Molex right here. Can you see it? Modify it. Just like that. That's how quick it was. So machines run a lot cooler now. And so basically, you guys don't have to upgrade the power supply. It's 80 plus uh, silver. It's a really good, it's really powerful. And if you can probably, you can also, if you have the GTX. Uh, 1070 you can still do using the uh, GTX 970 will also fit then you just have to get a cable Six pin to dual six pin they sell this cable online plug in like this it'll work fine Because I tested both video cards on the system already so and this is a GeForce GTX 970 uh, Founders edition, so it's pretty nice. I like it or uh, You can use uh, show you guys the other video card you can use uh, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. This is a little slower than the GTX 970, but you can still use this at 4 gigs of RAM. So it's good. So let me just get this removed and close this up quickly. So what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna plug in the monitor directly to the video card and uh, go to NVIDIA.com and get the drivers for it. If you're doing a clean install through the Windows 10, then uh, drivers will be installed automatically through Windows. But otherwise, you can just go to NVIDIA.com and get the drivers for the video card. And you plug in your monitor directly to the video card. So guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.